Hi everyone, my name is Josefin Hellut Larsson and I work for Wikimedia Sverige in Sweden. I'm here today to talk to you about the Grand Tour of Europe. So what is the Grand Tour of Europe? Well, it is an inter-affiliate knowledge ex exchange program for the Wikimedia movement. A lot of difficult word th words there, perhaps. Inter-affiliate knowledge exchange program for the Wikimedia movement, at least for me, who is not a native English speaker. Well, this, as you can interpret, is something we will do together to exchange knowledge within the movement. It is basically an opportunity for staff members and volunteers from the free knowledge organizations to learn from each other. Uh, and this, of course, is something grand, but what is it more specifically? Well, we imagine two to four travelers per round visiting different countries, probably by, by train, being three to five days per country and following the same theme, they will exchange knowledge. So back in the days, uh, the nobility of Europe traveled across all of the different countries in a learning experience. This is something we have drawn some inspiration from, and we see that we can do it in a modern version where anyone can participate, not only the nobility. So this is what the Grand Tour of Europe is. The travelers are supposed to learn new things, of course, but they will also share the knowledge they had before and carry the knowledge between the participating affiliates that they visit. So if I go abroad, I will learn new things on my specific track or theme for the journey. I come with some knowledge that I already have as a participant and as a person and as a part of the free knowledge movement. And I will share that to my co-travelers to the affiliates or groups that I am visiting, uh, and maybe even externally after the journey. I will also pick up things in one country that I will bring to the next, and I will bring it even further to the, the destination after that. So everyone benefits basically, both I as a traveler, the ones I'm traveling with, the people and organizations that are receiving us and uh, the free knowledge community in general. So the traveler, travelers are not only learning themselves, but also teaching others. Now you might wonder, how will this be organized? Well, we in Wikimedia Sverige we will take lead in the coordination of this project because we want to highlight this kind of exchange uh, that will benefit the entire movement. And now we have the possibility of doing so. So we will draw up the, the big basics um, and start the planning. Then we see the receiving countries and their role will be creating an interesting program for participants. And what is an interesting program? Well, of course, it depends on what the receiving uh, affiliates organizations want the participants to help in or to learn or to experience. This can be study visits to their partners. This can be helping in carrying out a project that they need a hand in. It can be uh, workshops, meeting members, meeting a board, meeting a staff. Uh, it can be whatever the receiving countries want to engage the participants in. Of course, there will have to be communication here, so there won't be a, a mismatch in the needs of the receivers and the travelers. Uh, and here, we in Wikimedia Sverige can have a coordinating role in matching the needs of the participants or uh, wants of the participants with the needs and wants of the receiving countries. 
We also see that the participants engage in preparations for their own journey. The participants will sign up uh, to a specific theme, and that is something that they have great knowledge in or want to learn more about. Uh, it can be a scale, but it will, uh, for everyone's benefit, be surrounded by, by this theme or will circulate around this specific theme. And as a part of that, you might have to prepare something in advance, perhaps creating uh, some kind of plan for what you want to learn or what you want to experience. Uh, maybe uh, set uh, some questions that you will want to have answers to. Uh, and you will also get to know the other participants. And that is a part of the preparations for the journey. Later on, when you're out traveling, of course, you will also engage in carrying out the traveling. You will have to take some responsibility for getting on the right train uh, or uh, being at a specific place at a specific time. So you engage as a participant as well. Then uh, you will also have to think about, will this benefit me or my uh, organization um, in any way afterwards? Is that something that I need to think about in advance to be prepared or to know what I will seek during my traveling? Uh, or will this just benefit me as, as a person uh, and help me do a better job in the future? We have a plan or an idea that the first theme will be Glamwiki content partnerships. And that is because we in Sweden now have a specific focus on content partnerships. So we want others to come along on that journey as well. So that uh, might mean that you get to know other Glamwiki employees or volunteers or partner organizations, um, learning about new projects, sharing your projects. How do you work with content partnerships within the GLAM sector in your affiliate or in your country or you as a person? Uh, so this is something that we will try to use as, um, as a first stepping stone for this project. Later on, we see many different themes coming along, perhaps uh, technology, uh, perhaps education, uh, perhaps uh, copyright rules and regulations across the EU or across the Europe or um, yeah, many different themes. And this is something that we will have to think further on as the project goes along. So our plan to begin with is the Glamwiki content partnerships. And then we come to the question of money. What about it? Well, Wikimedia Sverige will take the initial costs, mainly for staff and planning. That means we set up the structure. We help in connecting the interested participants with the receiving countries, um, help in um, communication, drawing up uh, a travel plan, uh, lots of those um, planning issues uh, or, or structuring that needs to be done before this kind of project. So we take the, the project leadership and uh, pay for that, basically. We will also put some work into finding a good fundraising model and developing this. And for that, we will need input. What do you think will be the best way of funding this project long term? How can we together build a long lasting Grand Tour of Europe program? And we see that Wikimedia organizations will in some way have to share the costs. One way might be from the money we already have, but it might also be in applying for projects, for example, uh, in your countries or um, in your surroundings. 
um, that will help co-fund this project. We now have a plan that the receiving organizations will pay for the participants for the duration of the stay and then pay for passing them forward, etc. So if someone comes to Sweden, for example, uh, we cover the cost for the participants during their stay and when they're traveling onwards. If we send them to Switzerland, then Switzerland then uh, pays for the participants during that stay and passing them forward. And what kind of things is it we cover? Well, it's of course the, the traveling onwards, but it's also accommodation and food for the stay and also program if that is something that needs to uh, be paid for. We see that for the staff traveling, each organization uh, or affiliate will pay their salaries as usual. So that is not something that is covered by this project. If your employee, uh, if you are an employee, you or uh, employer will uh, will pay your salary as usual. But for volunteers, we will also be looking into a model for covering the costs for taking time off work if needed. Maybe we will have some kind of uh, system to solve that so you won't lose money if you have to uh, take time off work for going on this uh, grand tour of Europe as a volunteer. So that is something that we will have to think about further on and that we need help with uh, in solving that kind of issue. So why should we participate then? Well, we see this as a magic opportunity to get to know others within the same field of work. We think that the bonds that we create can be strengthened and that uh, knowledge can be shared between people and between uh, organizations and affiliates. So we really do believe that this is a magic opportunity for that to happen. We also see the possibility of sharing your skills whether you're a traveler or a receiver, we think that you have skills that needs to be shared. And this is a possibility of you doing just that. You can share it in person, but you can also share your skills or your findings afterwards, perhaps on our digital platforms uh, or in the form that you see fit. This can also be um, a place to get help in getting work done in your affiliate. If you need two to four extra hands creating a project or uh, carrying out a project, this can be it. Maybe you don't have staff today and you uh, need a helping hand in either creating that or in doing some kind of action during a specific time and place. Maybe this program can help you in doing that because there will come extra people to you. If you are an office right now that have a project that needs more uh, energy or more life or uh, that you are interested in starting, you can also get people coming in and getting work done. As a traveler, you can also, of course, have the possibility of learning new skills, but also as a receiver, you will learn, uh, have the possibility of learning new skills because you will get to know people that come to you with their skills. Of course, this is also a possibility of getting new free knowledge friends. And we think that that kind of friendship and that kind of bond will help people last in the community for longer. Because when you have friends in the community, you're more eager to stay, of course. For some people, this might also be a possibility of traveling again after being in our countries or even in our cities for quite some time now. Of course, we also think this is fun, fun, fun. 
wouldn't you want to travel across Europe for three weeks or even a month, getting to learn new stuff and share what you already know, engaging in the things that you really love doing? Well, we see this as a dream come true. So now what? What happens? Well, we want both travelers and receivers that can be a part of this first project uh, and this pilot in doing the Grand Tour of Europe. So if you're interested in both of these ways of, of engaging, you can please contact me. Or if you want to know more and thinking about this, of course, you can also contact me. You can reach me on my email address that is in this slide. We are also currently working on putting up information on Meta. And I will try to link to this within uh, the scope of Wikimania and also um, yeah, try to share that in every possible way. So soon you can learn and read more about this project. Don't hesitate to contact me, and I hope that you have become interested in participating in this project. And if you don't live in Europe, of course you're free to participate anyway in traveling. And we see this as a possibility also of sharing this kind of project across the globe at a larger scale in the future. But right now, it's pretty convenient to travel within the Schengen area in Europe, uh, which is one way uh, of starting, because then you won't need all the different visas, uh, etc. basically. So I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you will be interested in both uh, traveling and receiving guests as the Grand Tour of Europe. Thank you. <laughs>